What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Interesting news as the uh, fast food collapse continues. Uh, it continues to uh, spiral out of control. It uh, continues to look uh, worse and worse. For It's gotten so bad that there are now articles coming out that say, oh, this is a Joe Biden problem. Joe Biden has a fast food prices problem. There's a fast food problem. Uh, battle brewing between McDonald's and Wendy's. There's viral videos going on uh, coming out from a McDonald's worker who is drying the mop in the fry uh, fryer, the French fry fryer. The McMop is back apparently. All sorts of just negative press. We're going to get into all that right now. Uh, first, I want to start with this article that came out today saying, actually, I want to start with this one. The new quiet luxury is burgers and fries. 60% of Americans are buying less fast food because it's just too expensive, survey finds. Now, what's interesting to me or what's wild is like, for my entire lifetime, and I suspect the lifetime of most people, the only thing fast food had to really compete with was, uh, you know, the, the general feeling that it was unhealthy, that, you know, people shouldn't eat it because it's not good for you. Now, not only is it not good for you, but people think it's too dang expensive, which is wild to me. Move over Hermes and Mew Mew. I, I don't know what any of that is. Is it some sort of women's clothing, I suspect? The newest luxury purse, oh, there you go, is flying out of the radar, and it's crinkled paper ba bag filled with burgers and greasy fries. The vast majority of Americans now find fast food is too expensive, dubbing it a luxury in a new report found this is this is one of the great like misconceptions of you know existing democrats and stuff like that who are saying uh you know hey um you know the economy has never been better look at the stock market yeah who owns stock does the middle class owns i don't even own stock i have like a handful of shares of rumble like literally a handful like six i think or something like that that's it that's all the stock i own um, middle class people don't own stock. Uh, people below that really don't own stock. I mean, some people have their 401ks, perhaps. Um, you know, those are a thing. But for the most part, most people don't own stock. So whenever it's like, oh, look at the Dow Jones. Okay, so rich people are richer. Is that is that what the new you know the new Democrat slogan should be? Of 2,000 adults surveyed, 78% considered fast food a luxury because of its price tag. Now that when I say like, you know, most people would have said, oh, fast food is like, you know, something I eat once in a while because it's unhealthy. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, a guilty pleasure. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a treat that, uh, shouldn't be, you know, indulged upon of two, uh, but it's because of the price quote, fast food often isn't even this quick, cheap option anymore. Lending Tree Chief Credit Analyst Matt Schulz told Fortune over email, people are having sticker shock at the drive through causing them to rethink how often they even eat fast food. Respondents participated in the survey in early April, the same time as California's $20 minimum wage law for fast food workers went into effect, causing chains like Chipotle to threaten a 7% increase in menu items. Even before the minimum wage law was enacted, consumers revolted against McDonald's $18 Big Mac meal and blasted Wendy's for its introduction of, quote, dynamic pricing, which they absolutely tried to do and only backed off once they had immense backlash. The burger chain backtracked the day after the announcement, saying it had no plans to raise prices, only provide discounts, which is, you know, oh, they, they put all this money into something, all this R&D, so that they could give you a better deal. Nobody was buying it then, nobody's buying it now. Indeed, pinched consumers are the most concerned about surge pricing with 72% of those surveyed saying that they would dine during off hours if it meant cheaper menu items. Imagine having to eat at different times of the day just so you could eat Wendy's. You know, like, and I'm not even like a fast food guy, fast food bad guy, obviously, clearly. Um, Stephen Zagor, food and restaurant consultant and adjacent assistant professor of business at the Columbia Business School, told Fortune that the bad attitudes for, towards fast food companies are the extension of the mentality so many have about the economy. As fast food prices continue to rise, even as inflation cools, consumer sentiment is dipping, 
In May, it reached its lowest point in six months. We're in this inflationary uh, mental cycle as where we are in inflationary reality cycle. Um, you know, and like, oh, they hear customers pain. Okay, well, an ex, you know, quarter pounder meal where I live is still eleven dollars, which is pure insanity for like a mystery meat cheeseburger, fries, and a drink. And now it's gotten so bad that Biden's fast food problem, change in fast food prices and non-manager wage indices. Working class voters are unhappy about President Biden's economy that may be partly due to the price of their Happy Meals or the gasoline or groceries or their heating bills or, you know, really anything, right? Why it matters. Fast food restaurants have some of the sharpest price hikes during the Biden administration, higher than both grocery bills and gas prices. Biden relied on working class voters to win in 2020, but high prices and high interest rates are hitting the poorest Americans the hardest. Biden is now either losing or splitting with lower income voters, according to survey after survey. Nearly three in five Americans believe, quote, incorrectly, that the U.S. is in a recession, according to the new Harris poll. Well, is it is, you know, sometimes um, sometimes perception is reality. And in this particular case, it is. If people are feeling like their dollars not going as far as it used to, it doesn't matter if that's true or not, especially when they go to the polls. And by the way, to dismiss it is absurd. Prices are up 31% versus hourly wages earning up 25%. So that 25% raise you got still did not get you ahead. Of course, the Federal Reserve, which has raised its key interest rate to five and a quarter to five from five and a quarter to five point five to fight inflation. I mean, it needs to be 10% to fight inflation. Are you kidding me? The inflation is so much worse than the average American even knows. Um, that this like tidal wave that they're holding off is so immense, yet they're still printing off trillions of dollars to you know, fight proxy wars in other countries and things of that nature. In 2020, Biden beat Trump 55 to 45% in households earning less than 50K. In households earning between 50 and 99K, Biden had an even bigger margin. Four years later, both candidates have eaten into each other's leads, according to April Economist. Well, I mean, I think you know, ultimately that's the reality is that there's no, I mean, you're not going to be able to fix this. McDonald's is, you know, they said themselves, hey, uh, we can't afford Ma McDonald's franchisees were writing letters to McDonald's saying, hey, um, you know, this we can't uh, we can, we're not even making any money. With the five dollar meal deal, they, they had to get millions of dollars from Coca-Cola so that they could uh, millions of dollars of Coca-Cola just so they could still lose money. Of course, the McDonald's worker caught drying a mop under the fry warmer uh, is probably not great. You see this video going around. Here's uh, you know somebody filming. And it's literally above the fries that people are eating. Like I will say, obviously, you know the now you're talking about okay, it's unhealthy, and I'm gonna catch something gnarly, like something very bad for me. I'm gonna catch. Because they're, I mean, what, are you kidding me? First of all, you know there's a stack of other mop heads that are probably dry and clean. Why on earth would you put that over the fryer? It is one of the dumbest things I could imagine. And by the way, this is the store manager. And it's, it's literally in the spot. So any little particulates that fell off that mop head when you're holding it over there, that's going in people's food. I, I, I just... They can't now you see this story here. Oh, not the meme story. Target and McDonald's and Wendy's announced discounts has a price war broken out. Well, I think consumers generally win when there's a price war, at least temporarily. But it's because these people have been gouging us since the lockdowns. Last week, McDonald's announced a $5 meal deal set to hit stores next month. Wendy's followed suit on Monday, releasing a $3 deal that features breakfast sandwich and potatoes. Aldi's, which is supposed to be cheap, a nationwide grocery chain said earlier this month that it would lower prices on 250 items, reducing, for instance, the price of sirloin steak from $849 to $699. I mean, that's a significant drop, but why were you gouging everyone before that? The price of goods hasn't changed that much. That's not lowered. Target said they were lowering the price of 5,000 items, but the cost of those haven't, you know, the 5,000 items haven't lowered in acquisition costs. Target 
has just been robbing you, everyone, for the last two years. And finally, people are like, oh, shoot, we should probably look into this. We should probably look and see if I can get this cheaper somewhere else. There's always going to, that's the beauty of capitalism. There's always going to be someone who's going to offer it cheaper, who's going to take that customer away from you. In response to accelerated price increases, the Federal Reserve embarked on an aggressive series of interest rate hikes as, and has yet to ease them. Well, they need to go more. Money's still too cheap. People are still lending. People are, I keep seeing McMansions getting built constantly. Oh, by the way, Target's letting people just steal from them nonstop too. Don't tell me that shrink isn't uh, causing price, prices to increase. All these communists are always pretending, you know, people filling up carts full of products and service or products running out the front door has no impact on the average consumer, which is a, a long running communist lie. I mean, I used to work retail. I worked retail for a very long time. That's baloney. Of course, shrink affects the prices for people. Theft. I don't think that this is going to get any better. You end up obviously with this McDonald's disaster. You end up with, you know, price mat. You know, this guy ordered a triple cheeseburger, by the way, and it was $19. One triple cheeseburger, $19. Now, I know the meme was that he ordered it and, and removed everything. That is DoorDash, to be fair. But look at this. $5 DoorDash. Do you think DoorDash isn't going to get crushed, by the way? I've, I've even, I've like been like, nah, I'm not door dashing it. I'll just cook at home. I'll just get groceries and cook at home. That's crazy. I'm not going to pay plus tip plus a fee for food. That's already insanely expensive. There's a reckoning coming and uh, whether or not these companies or the president wants to uh, acknowledge it, and it's going to take years to fix it. Would the damage that they did during the lockdowns will take a generation or more to fix the fast food part, the gasoline prices, the, the energy bills. All this is just on the front end of it. Uh, and things are going to get much worse because of just printing money. Yet we have trillions to send overseas. It's interesting how that works. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.